Adversary simulation, also commonly referred to as red teaming, is the act of using the same tools, techniques, and procedures as threat actors to identify, evaluate, and remediate risk in your environment. Adversary simulation utilizes various testing methods designed to evaluate networks, applications, systems infrastructure, processes, and even people. For example, network mapping, device fingerprinting, penetration, and post-exploitation techniques, such as privilege elevation, lateral movement, and data collection are common adversary simulation tasks performed during a network evaluation. While social engineering strategies, such as phishing, evaluates people and the likelihood of their responses to such attacks, such as entering credentials into a copycat website or downloading a fraudulent update. A common goal of adversary simulation activity is to identify what a threat actor could accomplish if a system or network has been compromised, ultimately assisting those who defend your environment, commonly referred to as the blue team, in testing and validating your defenses, identifying gaps and weaknesses in those defenses, and working in concert as a purple team to strengthen your defenses by enhancing existing controls and or providing additional mitigation strategies. Additionally, red teams often use common administrative tools, but in a way designed to target, attack, or exploit vulnerabilities. For example, a Unix or Linux shell or Windows PowerShell are important management tools used in many modern environments. However, in the wrong hands, like those of a threat actor, they can be used to identify assets, list processes, gather user information, create rogue or shadow processes, generate privileged accounts, and exfiltrate data. If you use these tools, can you identify and differentiate your organization's legitimate administrative activities from those of a threat actor? Depending on the type of testing to be accomplished, red teams may use a completely blind testing method or the assumed breach model. In blind testing, the team only knows the target and the assessment begins with external recon. Using the assumed breach model, however, the red team begins with an already compromised host and continues down the attack chain, validating or disproving technical assumptions, such as our firewall should block that, or our endpoint detection and response tool should detect that activity. Both methods have extreme value, thus it's important to know when each is appropriate and understand what resources are needed to properly assess your risk. If your security program is missing adversary simulation and red teaming, Help Systems has the resources you need, from our fully managed penetration testing and assessment services to our award-winning infrastructure protection and testing tools, including Core Impact and Cobalt Strike. We can provide your security teams a robust commercial platform for your in-house testing needs. For more information, email us at info at helpsystems.com.